From the outset when the school was created, we were aiming to nurture children in the fuller aspects of their humanity, not just the academic, not just testing, um, and um, not even just social and all of the classical things that are done in, in schools. And at the same time, we realised the importance of a character education that focused on aspects of a child's personality, characteristics that we all appreciate in human beings and we desire for our young to grow up having simple characteristics such as honesty, generosity. We realised along with those sets of characteristics and universal moral values that we also needed them to be resilient, to have leadership skills, to, to persevere, to be able to stand up in the face of adversity and carry on um, and to have a generous spirit to want to give and contribute to society. That's really what Navigate's all about, is really to try to make that happen in a more meaningful way. Reception at this young age, the children are four and five years old, and so the characteristics that we are looking to nurture at this current stage is etiquettes, so like the du'as that we are practicing, um, the things that you'll say before you enter the toilet, manners, how you greet visitors while they're playing in the home corner, ensuring that they, they speak nicely to one another, uh, play, play sensibly in the outdoor area maybe, um, keeping an eye out, seeing how children maybe interact appropriately with other children. I'm making an obstacle course for the children in year one, so we're going to try and push them to be a bit more brave, to face some of their fears, which might be, you know, walking from a bit of height across the plank. They've got jumping, they've got going through tunnels, they've also got going across the apparatus and the climbing frame, they've got the chairs and a few other things, and that will be their challenge. <laughs> well done. Well done. I think the key thing here is that we didn't tell them how to get through the course and what to do. So they had to then think and discuss and problem solve and find different ways of getting through the different hurdles and obstacles that they came across. And it worked really well. Children did stop and think and find different strategies and different solutions. And some of them did have to overcome certain their nerves and fears and you know face some challenges head on. It was really encouraging to see the children actually understanding um, what resilience means so we, we gave them a, I suppose a, a more physical tangible memory of what resilience is. The most important part of children's development is their connection with God as a faith ethos school and what we are interested in doing is trying to create immersive experiences where children can have a moment to reflect, a spiritual moment to connect with God. So without preaching too much, but situations in which they're immersed and they can reflect upon God's signs, reflect upon the world, learn lessons from being in situations and observing other people in moments where they're, where they're left to reflect, where they're given room to do that. So we're here at Thriftwood today and the whole school is coming for an outdoor day as part of our Navigate curriculum and they're going to be taking part in lots of different activities and lots of different lodges and these activities will all be focusing on developing their characteristics such as patience, respect, looking at respect for the creator, looking at respect for each other, contributing, looking at things that they can do in the future as part of their visions. So all of these are part of the characteristics that we're working on and today is vital to hoping to achieve that. He saw people worshipping the moon. And he also saw We're here at Thriftwood and this is really the culmination of many years of our project that we launched which was called the Navigate Curriculum and it really came and stemmed from an idea that we had that we looked at our own team as trustees who got involved in a community project and we thought how are we going to instill the passion in our children uh, for the future generation to do similar. Uh, and we looked at certain skills and qualities that we thought that the children need to have to be able to give back to society, to be able to establish more schools or whatever the society needs in 10, 20, 30 years time. 
It's a very unique curriculum. It is uh, bespoke to Al Noor. It ensures that these characteristics, such as compassion, such as sincerity, and such as other skills, such as entrepreneurial skills, uh, are really inspired in the children and, and really embedded in them from a young age, so that when they do go into the wider world, these crucial skills will be there and they'll be able to represent uh, their faith in a much better way. Mm-hmm.